morning gang so guys today is friday september the september the what mom 27th i think and this morning we got a call from <coughs> charlotte that mama Bree possibly has a kidney so right now we're about to run to walmart to go pick up some last minute items that she need like a little nightgown stuff like that so we're so excited that we can't even control ourselves um so she might be admitted today into the hospital and we probably will just i'll just keep you guys posted as we travel there and all the steps of this whole journey so stay tuned getting a shopping cart and That's an OX. What's an OX? The black polka dot one, not bad. Oh, it's a Morris. This one's cute. I'm sorry for what I said when I was sleeping. Well, guys, we just got the. Let me pop your ball. The third call. We just got the third call. We're waiting for the fourth call. The third call, they were just letting us know that the blood is a match to the donor. And the next call is just a let us know that the biopsy went great. So we're on our way home, about to get ready to pack up this bag and make sure we're good to go. So y'all gonna see a lot of videos of us in the hotel, I mean, in the hospital. I'm gonna just show you guys the whole process. Anything you wanna say, mama? No, mama, we just... I'm just, I'm just a little stoic right now. Just, I'm just nervous, scared, excited, all in one. And I'm hoping that it really goes down because you can get right to the door and then they tell you something happened. So I'm just hoping that it's, it's, it's a go. But you know, it's always that chance that something could, could go wrong and it doesn't happen. So we'll just keep out fingers crossed and keep praying keep on praying all right love um, you guys stay posted okay you guys this is my room i just checked in my bed um, everything's so nice I'm waiting on me Oh, you okay, you guys. My Bree is a nervous wreck, but I finally made it here. Finally made it. So what did they do when I was gone? What did they do while I was gone? Hmm? They, um, they just took my pressure. My pressure was 182 over 90. Yeah, because you were trying to rush to get here. It was as high and um uh, what else they did it took my temperature I had to urinate in a little hat in a so hat so you could measure how much oh. I was urinating what is that wow could you put that away so they had to take a picture it's just off of my license dang they ain't playing over they there they just scanned it in and She's talking about my visitor pad. I meant pad, pad, badge, pass badge. Dang. Oh. DJ, can you help me with this? What does that say? I understand you're here for a kidney. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Been waiting a long time, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what we're going to do is go through some medical history stuff, make sure we have everything, nothing's changed, and okay. then. I'm gonna look at a couple different things. Gotta check your bellies, and you have a P calf, and look at some surgery scars, and then check some pulses in your legs, and then we'll talk about the surgery and answer any questions you have. Okay. How's that sound? Good. Here, we'll take that dialysis catheter out. Um, we connect the renal artery, the renal vein, and the ureter into you. The renal artery and vein go into the external iliac artery and vein, which is what goes down to your right leg. Mm -hmm. So that's why the pulses are important. We gotta make sure you have good flow now. Mm -hmm. And then we're not gonna create another problem for you distally in your foot or leg or something like that okay. by making those connections. 
there's always that risk. Even though we have good pulses now, we are cutting into the artery and cutting into the vein and making connection there. So it's possible you can get blood clots either in the vein, called a DVT, that can travel up to your lungs or your heart, something like that, or block blood flow coming back from your leg. Or you can get a clot in the femoral artery or in the artery that goes to the kidney off the femoral artery um, that can go down to your foot and cause issues down there. Extremely rare. We take a lot of precautions to prevent that, but it is still a remote possibility. Okay. If something does happen, obviously we'll fix it. Uh, we also have to make a connection from your ureter that carries urine to your bladder, mm -hmm. uh, from the new kidney to your bladder. Uh, there's obviously a risk of leaking there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have a Foley catheter that goes in your bladder to drain your bladder for three days while that connection heals up. Okay. It may have some bloody urine output that's to be expected because we're sewing it in and that connection can bleed a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's possible you can get a bunch of clots in there if you do some irrigation and things like that to um, address that. We put a special type of Foley in case that does happen. Not typical, but it is a possibility. Okay. okay? Um, we're obviously cutting into a couple different vessels, so there is a risk of bleeding. We take great efforts to prevent you from losing a bunch of blood, but a blood transfusion is a possibility. Okay. okay? The risk of blood transfusion is super minimal. Risk of HIV, hepatitis C, hepatitis B, all that stuff is somewhere in the neighborhood of one in several hundred thousand patients. Mm -hmm. Okay? So exceedingly rare, but a remote possibility. Okay? okay? Um, like I said, you have the catheter in for three days. You'll probably be here around four days if everything goes perfect. Uh, could be longer, probably won't be shorter. Definitely won't be less than three. Okay. Okay. Um, just anticipate five ish. Okay. And if it's quicker, great. If it's slower, then we're doing what we need to do to keep you and the kidney safe. Okay. Okay. Um, you talked about immunosuppression. People have talked to you about that in the past. Uh, I'm not sure what regimen is going to put you on. It didn't tell me. He didn't tell you when you were in here, but I'm sure he's got a game plan. Typically, it's an induction agent. There's two or three different ones that we use. You'll get it in the operating room, and then I... Mm -hmm. Slow. Well, he diagnosed me a long time ago because wow. um, they were trying to figure out what was going on with mm -hmm. me. I kept swelling up. And, and, yeah, and, I, and every time I would urinate, it would just be real sudsy, right. sudsy. And um, they finally figured out that what was wrong with me. But then I, they thought I had high blood pressure or diabetes, mm -hmm. and none of, I had none of the above. So, Do you recall, did he try certain treatments on you, steroids and other things, uh, when it was diagnosed? I know, I took Celsep. Celsep, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, for a little bit, and then L I... Little donor, large man, um, around your age, um, who died of a stroke, so had risk factors. Uh, his kidney functioned, the tests were normal, um, but, you know, this is not a young, you know, pr pristine donor. This is sort of a, if I would grade it, I would grade it as a B quality kidney. Um, but we've biopsied it, it looks fine, it's pumping well, very well right now, uh, is my understanding. So we think it's a good kidney. Um, it could take a while for it to recover after transplant. You may need temporary hemodialysis. Do you have a fish on your arm? Yeah, they failed. Back, no? They failed. So it shouldn't be the best gap. Okay. And that can prolong your returning home if the kidney takes a while to, to work. Some of these kidneys can take a week, two weeks to recover. Okay. I've seen it. It's generally not very aggressive. I mean, right. Yours was there for many, many years before right. it caused kidney failure. Mm -hmm. So if it does, it's, it's one of these things that um, we think the immune suppression we use for the transplant sort of moderates it and, and doesn't uh, prevents it from being very aggressive. So I don't think that would be a major... Um, stumbling block. I will say there are, it's occasionally associated with something called FSGS, focal sclerosis. That can recur and that can take... Bye bye PD. Thank you so much for being good to me, never getting an infection, but you gotta go. Time to go, Dallas. Bye bye. Toodaloo. Bye bye. Can you believe it? Can you believe in that? Mm -mm. Y'all, this is how, this is what I've been attached to for the last six years, you guys. Let me show you something else. Let me just show you everything. Are you, are you full now? Do you have? Yes. So are they going to drain you? Yeah. She, she told me to let them know. Oh, so her stomach at this moment is full it's of full. the dialysis fluid. There you go, That's you guys. Been in her for six years. There you go, you guys. Yep. Sorry if it's 
gross to you guys, but this is just what it is. She's kept it clean and kept it tight. And, you know, we've had some issues, but very minimal issues with that. Thank God. Yep. Bye-bye, baby. This time tomorrow night. I'll have a new candy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And um, I'm checked on, I'm all checked in my room. And I'm just praying, you guys. So we will be back. We'll be back. My TV is kind of loud. So. All right, y'all, I'll turn it down. All right, so I'll be back. Probably in the morning. Before I head out for surgery, you guys. I'm ready. Bye-bye.